Hey Dub, this is Dave Desai. Today I want to get into V heading to Paris and some stalker activity that was talked about. I also want to get into an older alleged legal action that V was going to take and what is happening currently with that and also the Korean music government agency talking about BTS. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Gravy dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing we need to discuss is what happened with the Korean Singers Association Agency. This is a non-profit agency and according to Google, they might also be known as Korean Music Copyright Association, as I could not find any information on the Korean Singers Association. So I'm led to believe it's a nickname or something, but I believe this agency is in charge of broadcasting rights and just what an artist can do in Korea. When you get to the point where you're possibly affecting a lot of people's lives, there will be agencies and laws surrounding what you do. So someone like an artist that has a lot of power to influence people, there would be agencies that will guide or limit what an artist can do. The the chairman of the association and former classmate of Jin made a statement recently that got armies really upset. She is obviously a big fan of BTS and supports them, but she talked about how she fears that when BTS leaves and takes their break, they will be less visitors and tourists coming into the country, and the country will have lost a lot of their tourism. She continued to ask the members to reconsider taking this break and to stay together a bit longer, and even talked about not knowing when the next BTS will be. It's definitely insane that an entire country can rely on one group to bring in a significant part of their economy, but apparently they do. BTS members are all currently looking to do their own solo work and won't be as a group for a little bit. Some members are literally going to go on vacation and others already have plans on some cool activities to do. However, why were armies upset at what the chairman said? Because we all definitely want BTS to be together, right? Well, the issue seems to lie with the fact that the fandom wants BTS to rest and wants them to be re-inspired and take care of themselves. Hearing that the chairman wants BTS to continue seems quite selfish to the fandom. It seemed like for the many years that BTS was active, they had never considered any source of income for the country, nor did they even care that BTS was active in the past. BTS was often blocked from TV shows and performances, and it's not like they had an entirely easy time in Korea to be an artist. So if this was under the association's power to help with broadcast or those things, why did they never make an effort to help make BTS's career easy? They struggled a lot to have a career in Korea, and now all of a sudden, they want BTS to stay together, and K-Media definitely wasn't kind to BTS, that they even made their own song insulting the industry and did their own reality show instead of going on the existing ones, which if you want to watch some of those with me, check out my Patreon link below. And so all of this was very annoying to armies, and they felt like the association just wants BTS for money and that's it. And I can see how it annoys people. It almost seems like once BTS got successful, suddenly all these people recognize them and it's all the same people that were against them. And while it can seem that way, Way, I don't think it's entirely appropriate to think of it in that way. Of course, an association wouldn't care about an artist that wasn't big or doing anything for the country because that would be so many people they would have to think about, and this is how the world works. You have to show potential or results before anyone can and will care about you, and the reason being is because there's simply too many people to just care about everyone. Is it fair? Do I like it? No, of course not, but it's how the world works. I do think BTS members should rest, and some will be doing that and others won't. But I'm not entirely sure if tourism would stop if BTS didn't continue as a group. This is to say that Tang wouldn't have an impact on the economy or that the other members individually wouldn't. They definitely would. And people would still go over to Korea to visit the individual member's town or whatever they would go over there for. I am glad to hear that the members are doing solo work and excited to see the many endeavors that they take on. Tang was rumored to be going to Paris. There was an article that dropped with CNN and they talked about a Louis Vuitton men's week fashion show in Paris. Then according to K-Media, Tang was supposed to be flying out to Paris. However, I don't know where they got this information. However, then news sites or Korean news sites started to get up live streams at the airport. So something a little different in Korea media with K-pop stars, if you didn't know, is a lot of celebrities spotted at the airport is a big deal. And the fans will await the celebrity to say goodbye or just to see the awesome airport fashion as idols treat the airport like a fashion runway show. So the news sites also definitely want to to be the first to get photos or videos. It is definitely a tiny bit creepy to see all these live stream videos of these new sites waiting for Taeyang and all that, and a lot of this was speculative. Armies began thinking that Taeyang would appear even in Paris before K-Media even talked about it, and fans were beginning to line up at the airport. BTS and specifically Taeyang have a big issue with soccer fans and people following them in the airport, and sometimes even stalking them to the point of following them on the airplane. Taeyang has specifically spoken 
spoken about these times when he is scared that these people would be next to him or find their way onto the airplane. Fans began to get so worried when other fans would speculate that Tan was going to be on a flight to Paris. And it's pretty easy at that point to determine which flight it would even be. If you see Tan enter the airport at five, then you can easily look at the departure thing and assume that it will maybe be the next flight to Paris that is shown there. People also accused several fans and news sites for talking about Tan going to Paris as people who were attacking and hurting Tang, I can see this being an issue. But we can only blame those people so much before you have to look at the precautions that Hybe is taking for Tang. People are going to show up and you can't control everyone's actions. Saying things like you shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that only works if the person you're saying this to is reasonable. But if you're someone who breaks into flights and licks toilet seats after idols have been on, these are not people that are mentally fit to take any sort of reasoning. Hybe has addressed these concerns before and idols have private rooms they can stay in while they wait. Or they literally board the plane last minute and the plane is waiting for them. Or lastly, they do charter or private. In which case, they literally can't get broken into because it's a private plane and you wouldn't know which plane it was. Some people think that BTS still might take commercial flights because they're at an airport. But legally, a private or commercial plane cannot run without a runway. So they need an airport hub that they can rent from. So what happens is a private plane company rents out a runway from a specific airport and then they use that to operate the plane. So Tang would very much be taking a private even if you do see him out and about at the airport, which does help with the safety. There had been a lot of concerns over safety because of how many people are at the airport and also just the dumb hate that the members get online. A little while ago, there were several new sites that had reported on Tang taking legal action on a YouTube channel. Someone on Weverse sent over a link to a YouTuber's channel where the channel was making claims that may or may not be true. There was no evidence to back up any claims and they were never claims of positive things. When Tang saw the video, he very publicly said that he was going to take legal action on this person and we kind of never heard anything of it. The channel recently got even more hate when they alleged another idol's past bullying, which the idol denies and the idol's management heavily denies. This is Nam Ju Hyuk's accusations. Netizens were very upset and mad, claiming that the channel slanders Nam Ju and many other idols and artists, but claiming that the channel tries to push the rumors even further to bring down the reputation of the artists and idols. I think it's interesting because there's always so much to report on with an idol. There's so much that's out there on the day to day that is a lot less serious and more fun to report on. You can report on rumors that you think are dumb like I do. You can also report on silly things the fans do. So I go for stories and stuff that are maybe not proven, but then claiming that it's real. It's just a recipe for disaster in my opinion. People were definitely surprised recently after after this backlash and Tang alleging legal action that at the end didn't do anything, but we don't know what happened and what is pending with that. But I'm definitely curious to hear what your thoughts is about this. How do you feel about people showing and speculating where Tang will be? How do you feel about the Korean Singers Association and their statement on BTS? And of course, what do you think of Tang's previous legal action? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks, just love to comment right here. Love you, bye. Oh,